This program firstly stores number zero inside the variable called score. Next, it asks for a number. So it says question is equal to int input what is five times five. And then we use an if statement to say that if the question is equal to 25, because obviously five times five is 25, then we would print correct answer, two points added. And we would add two points to the score. So we're saying score is equal to zero plus two. So the score will be two. Otherwise, we would print incorrect. Next, after this happens, we will ask the user for their name. So it says name is equal to input, enter your name. And then we're creating a file. So we're saying file is equal to open score to text. We're creating a text file called score. And we put A in there to say that we want to append to it. So we're appending to the score.txt. Append means add into the end. Next, we're writing to that file. So we're writing file.write. And then we're saying str, which stands for string score. We're casting the score from an integer at the top to a string because you can only write strings to a file. Next, we say in plus, so we're concatenating with a comma. So this will print the score, comma, and then name. So the name is the user's name that they entered. Next, we say in plus slash n, which means we're moving to the new line in the file. So whenever we're writing to the file, we're adding, uh, we're basically pressing enter to move to the next line. And then we're closing the file. Remember to always close the file, otherwise it will not work properly. Next, we're saying file is equal to open. So we're opening the test text file called score again, but this time we put R in here, which stands for read. So this time we're reading from the file, we're not appending to it. Next, I'm creating a variable called read the file equals file.readlines. This will read all the contents of the file. Everything inside that file will be read and stored inside this variable. Next, we put stored data. So this is a variable and I'm using a function here called sorted. This is a function implemented by Python and what it does is basically it sorts the file into numerical or alphabetical order. So in this, in this case, because at the top we're writing the score first, it will sort the score into numerical order. So it will start from the bottom, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. However, what we're saying here is sorted read file. So it's sorting the file into numerical order, then we're reversing it. So basically, instead of going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it would go 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So it goes from the highest to the lowest because of this reverse function. So we're using reverse equals to true. We're reversing that order. Next, we're saying print top three scores and then print position. So position and then slash T. What this slash T do is basically a tab. It presses tab in the text file. It creates some empty space in the text file. And then we're saying points, comma, name. So we're separating points by name. And the last line is for line in range of three. So we're looping, we're using a for loop to loop three lines in the text file. And then we're saying print str line plus one. So remember, line will start from zero. So zero will be stored in line, but we're adding one to it. This is to show the top three positions. So we're saying top one, top two, top three, rather than top zero, top one, and top two. Next, we put in plus here, and then again, slash t in string. So slash t will just add the space. 
and then we're saying str sorted data which is the first line of the text file and then line which is obviously zero so this will print line zero line one and line two now if i run my program five plus five let's say 25 it will print correct answer at two points now this added two points to my text file now i'll just type say tom and then it printed the top three score so obviously these scores uh, have already been added in my previous tries that i've uh, run when i ran the program uh, so if i open that file score the text and for example done at the top uh, let's see i'm just going to change uh, allo to five and save it and then I run my program again uh, let's get it incorrect a this time it will print allo at the top because he has the highest point so highest point five and then name next to it and then second highest and name and this is how you can display the top uh, two three four or top five or top six uh, players in your program if you have them in a text file